4,550 pounds, the Gray Wolf 26 DJSE here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Those initials obviously stand for Does Josh Sound Excited? And yes, I do is the answer to that because this is a great starter class, no nonsense, carpetless family camper that can get the whole tribe there, sleep them, feed them, do a great job simply, easily, effectively. And I think that's what anyone's looking for out of my RV is simple, easy, and effective. Now, this is an un believably common bunkhouse layout. Pretty much anybody who builds anything in, in the way of a, a bunkhouse, uh, you know, starter class travel trailer is gonna build something like this. So the question naturally becomes, why this one? Why the Grey Wolf? And then really from there, why Halet RV? And those are the questions I wanna ask as we go through this RV, because I think every RV is the best for a different reason. I really truly believe that. I've seen enough campers to see that they all have a couple neat little features about them. So it's really just a matter of finding the one that fits you best because typically there's more than one RV that will work well for you. Um, they all do a little bit different things and giving you that information, that education, that's what we do here for you at Halet RV. The service that we give our customers before, during, and after the sale, that's really the answer to the why Halet RV versus somewhere else. Now we even make it easier by like publishing our price tags. You don't have to call to get a price from us and we don't do hidden dealer fees. So there's, there's a few reasons why. Now, What's cool here, this is completely carpetless. When there's no slides, there's no need for carpet, other than the carpet square where I clean my feet. They ship those from the factory, uh, thankfully. But um, beyond that, uh, you know, it's completely carpetless. It's very easy to clean. Gray Wolf campers do not put heat vents in the floor. So in a family class camper like this, where you got a lot of kids bouncing in and out, it's very simple to keep it cleaned up. Now, this is a smart equipment package. This is the one that does all, everything that matters and nothing that doesn't. Like, we still have good LED lights. Oh, actually, speaking of which, I forgot one. Look at that. How about that? More lighting. They're high intensity lights. This is also central air. And that's a key thing to talk about in small campers like this, in basic campers like this you often will still get a non-centralized air conditioner. Now, it's not that it, this is any more powerful, it's that it's so much more efficient because it ducks the air all the way through the RV. Now, another thing here, guys, is that you've got a big family, or even if you've got a small family, the fact is you've got to be able to feed those little monsters because God knows they will eat you out of house and home, and this one gives you plenty of space to do it. Now, when I say monsters, I mean with love, obviously. Everybody loves their kids, but they will eat you out of house and home. Like, you you don't even understand. It's like every 30 minutes, my nephews, uh, it, it's like, okay, Uncle Josh, I'm hungry. I'm like, how is that even possible? But it is somehow. So what I like here is they extended the overhead storage all the way to the side of the sofa. And this chunk of cabinet space here, that's something that a lot of brands who build a floor plan like this will leave out or lack or, or disregard. And you'll see that you, you maintain that storage here in the uh, Grey Wolf 26 DJSE at Halet RV. Now, down below that, you've got your dual cross breeze windows and uh, easy reach outlets for appliances, which is nice. The uh, countertops, whether it's here in the kitchen, in the bathroom, on the dining table, they're all a uh, pressed membrane. What that means is uh, you can see how that there's, there's no seams where water can penetrate in here. And what that allows for is that higher rise faucet to clean bigger stuff as well as that beautiful recessed skirted stainless sink right there. Now the cover for it I have sitting over here on the oven door just so that you can see how big the sink is and everything. But uh, the cover is fitted so that it will be flush mount to maximize countertop prep space, which is also why you have this handy little shelf over here that gives you a place to set drinks in front of the sofa. But the sink cover, plus that tempered glass uh, stovetop cover over here will maximize your total prep space so that in a little camper, you can actually take care of everybody. Now, you also have a pair of nice drawers. Basic level campers, sometimes guys, will have no drawers. You can't even assume a camper always has drawers. That's how stupid things can be sometimes. But obviously, how not stupid this brand is. So there you have it. Plywood boxed also in full beveled edges, and I like that they're taller. Has anyone ever tried to open a drawer, and the spatula inside is like, hey, nice drawer you have there. It'd be a shame if someone were to, oh, I don't know, stop it from opening, because Mr. Spatula is a jerk. Am I right? Spatulas are jerks. They will keep you from getting in your kitchen cabinetry. Then you got to do the little thing where you try to do the little pickle claw to get your hand down in here. You know what I mean. Anyway, fact is you're not going to have that happen here as easily because they're taller drawers. That's what I was getting at before I went off on my <laughs> tangent. Um, they also redesigned everything below the sink here to give you every little nook and cranny they could. And they opened that up for um, extra storage space down there and a perfect little spot for a wastebasket, which I think is just a really smart addition. 
From there, we could move on back to the bathroom area and, uh, you know, passing the central air system. Although you don't necessarily have to use it as a central air system, it does have what's called a cold air dump here where you can drop all the cold air right here in the living area. That being said, you do not want to do this full time. You'll actually cause uh, a buildup of, um, uh, like, uh, crystallization basically on your condenser. You remember in the in the 70s like when an air conditioner a, on a hot day in a car could start spitting snowflakes at you, you could actually freeze up the coils on this by leaving it open the whole time. This is not made to be a localized air conditioner. It just can be used that way temporarily. Keep that in mind. Now, <clears throat> notice how the bathroom door here does not go all the way up to the ceiling. That is by intention because they give you a bigger, better max air vent fan here even at what you would call a starter class camper. And this is something that, like, you know, Rockwood RVs do that you're getting here at a more basic Cherokee camper. And this is basically capable of supporting whole house airflow. Boondocking people, you're going to love this. But frankly, anybody should like this because it gives you so much more air in the camper. Now, again, a basic camper. But notice, a big skylight and still including a protective shower wall surround paneling system. Not um, walls that you have to wipe down with a towel when you're done showering. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay, but it's one more thing you have to do. Now, you don't have to. That is a foot flush stool, by the way. We just can't see it from the angle that we're standing. And you also have more of that uh, protected countertop stuff with an extra large sink and a extra large vanity. But notice how the sink and the vanity point inward toward the room. They're not flat mounted against the wall. Cherokee had to take a little bit extra time to build it this way, but what that really does for you guys is it gives you a, uh, a more comfortable user experience when you are in the bath area. Now, um, the uh, let's talk about entertainment for a second. You, well, first of all, you've got another full overhead cabinet above the uh, big dining seat right here, but your entertainment is very, very expandable. If you want to uh, add a little streaming stick, like a Amazon Fire, Chromecast, whatever, or Blu-ray or DVD. You got a face mount HDMI port here where you can plug that in. And of course, little auxiliary ports to plug in just generic music devices. If you choose to add a TV to this one, you've got the perfect little spot there for it against that bunk wall. But that gives you the easiest viewing angle possible from this rear facing sofa and uh, obviously half the dinette area. Now, um, you've got that extra large window overlooking the dining area right there. And what's nice about that, guys, is it gives you the perfect spot to be able to keep an eye on the kids. You know, whether you're sitting here on the sofa like we are right now, or you're sitting at the dining at. If you hear one of those kids scream bloody murder, you have to take five seconds to evaluate as a parent. Do I need to go out and parent this thing, or do I let the kids go back to it? Are they going to handle their own problems? Well, this gives you an easy way to check that out without ever having to really get up, because part of recreational vehicles is recreation, which sometimes just means kicking back and relaxing a little bit. Or if you hear a funny noise at night, you could use that for security too. Now again, more of that uh, sealed protected countertop material stuff, and that carpetless floor plan here is very nice in the dining area so that you don't have to, you know, clean up any sort of spills from the kiddos. There is storage below the dinette seating, as you can see. Um, and uh, the little bumps that you see protruding right there, that's actually the wheel well. So that's one of the benefits of having the dinette over here on this side is that you can kind of hide the wheel well with it a little bit. Now these are not um, necessarily the easiest access storage compartments. They're very good for like occasional irregular use things like maybe every now and then you pull out a big griddle or something, I don't know, blankets, you know, extra blankets if need be. It's a good spot for just that extra storage. And it's kind of what I call why not storage. They had a chance to use it, and they didn't waste it. But at the end of the day, we are in a bunkhouse, and sleeping capacity is probably one of your concerns. Now, being an eight-foot camper, that is a full four-person dinette, which means it does fold down into a little bit larger, wider sleeper. So a bigger kid, if need be, could sleep crossways on that, or obviously one of the littles, or a big dog, or whatever would be fine there. Um, we've got those pleated privacy shades for uh, um, your windows to be able to block out the sun. Now, over here, you've got that full curtain to be able to privatize the bunk space and a pair of double-double bunks. So, you know, sleep one kid, two kid, red kid, blue kid. <laughs> on these if need be so that we're up to a total sleeping capacity of we'll say five so two four five we get over here the sofa can fold down into an extra sleeper so there's six plus we have the master bed up front so there's a total of eight sleeping on here without getting too aggressive by trying to shove two people on a sofa or a dinette sleeper because these are not the larger u dinettes or anything so and this is an easy six up to an eight sleeper if you utilize the fold down uh, sleeper seating 
Now, a lot of brands do this, where you have this sort of cinema-style sofa folding armrest right here, but it was actually the Cherokee brand that brought it to the mainstream that, that made it cool, and they do this across the board here in any of their bifold sofas. So if you do need to, you can sit three people at the sofa, um, especially if you remove those, uh, you got those little sofa bolster armrests there that you can pop off. Those are, they, they just kind of help sort of complete the look and the feel of this thing. But that fold down center section right there is nice when you need a little separation. Also, it gives you a place to keep some drinks, which is handy because a lot of sofas don't do that. There is storage below this section of the sofa, by the way. Just simply you kind of half lift it up to get to it. Kind of like the dinette storage, it's good for occasional stuff. Now that extra large viewing window over there, kind of like the dining window, once again, if you hear a noise at night, during the day, whatever, you have to quickly assess what's going on. It gives you just an easy view to do that. And those fully mirrored hanging closets make uh, being able to see through here uh, uh, you know, very easy because it re reflects more light. And some brands do a half privacy wall here. The Grey Wolf series, they do a full open wall. And what that does give you is just a bigger, more larger open feeling. So it, you don't feel quite so claustrophobic like you can't breathe in here. Now you've got dual side stands with household outlets on both sides. But when you sacrifice the half privacy wall, you would normally sacrifice privacy. And that's part of the reason that they give you this nice full wall privacy curtain right here. So if you do need to close this thing off at night, if you do prefer that visual break, or if you need to change some clothes real quick, that's one of the things that's handy about this. You can pull that curtain and close the two bedroom shades real quick and mom and dad or the kids or whoever can change some clothes without putting on a free show for the neighbors. Now I've used the words simple, basic, and entry level several times in my video here, but I don't want to shortchange this thing. It's very much what I like to call a smart money camper, where they used uh, the things that you're going to use, see, feel, touch, need every day. They spent good, smart money on those things, like we have a power awning. Uh, we have uh, an anti-slam entry door. We have those more ride stable steps to keep the camper from rocking and rolling. Uh, that bigger entry handle, the uh, power tongue jack. The things you're going to use and need every day, they're all still here. The extra fluff stuff, that's what does not go into the SE series of Grey Wolf. And that's really the only difference between um, a, a Grey Wolf and a Grey Wolf SE. Is This is just a little bit simpler, smarter edition, if you will, for people who are like, listen, I, I, just, I just don't need over the top. I just need effective. And that's what this is. You still get that nice uh, uh, big storage compartment right there. We still have a side mount solar prep for my boondock enthusiast. Um, we have that extra thick painted aluminum nose sweep. Uh, so the, the nose skin is thicker, and basically the entire thing effectively like resists headwind, buckling, stone deflection, etc. It's almost like the entire nose of it has a stone guard. Um, you just only see part of it looks like what we would normally refer to as a stone guard. Neat thing on these Grey Wolves, they run on a custom engineered chassis, and where you can see that is the fact that the A-frame of the tongue, where the propane and the batteries sit, it is integrated into the actual chassis body itself. So what that allows for is the entire body of this coach sits about six inches lower to the ground. Now there's still plenty of ground clearance as you can see. You're not dragging anything. You're not going to bust your um, you know, sewer outlets or nothing. But it means that the overall height of the RV is lower, which makes it easier to park, which makes it easier to get through things like national parks with tree branches. And it, uh, it, it just reduces overall headwind, which is all handy stuff. Now, um, you have some pretty slick looking mag wheels on these things, and uh, they have tire pressure indicator caps right on the valve stems. And what this will do for you guys is if this thing, if you look at it, if this is green, you're good. If it's red, stop. Put some air in the tire. That's all you need to know. That's all the more complicated this is. Now, again, simple basic addition, but we still have a full black tank flush and outside utility shower next to our dump station. And we also have its individually switched, nice, bright, white courtesy light over here, so that if you do need to empty your tanks at night, you can actually see what you're doing, which is pretty darn handy. We do uh, have a uh, prep for a backup camera or observation camera if you need the in-motion variety if to, to feel a little more comfortable. And that 200 pound rated cargo rack on the back, which is gonna be good for like kids' bikes, a small generator, again, good for boondocking enthusiasts. You'll have all of that here. Uh, the roof is fully walkable. It's roughly a 2,800 pound rating, something like that. But it's a 3 8 uh, thickness roof deck with vaulted trusses every 16 inches on center. Your flooring is a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. Uh, with 12 inch on center floor studs. So I mean, it's got a good structure to it. Again, it's just a more simple design camper. Now, uh, there's a lot of people who really like outside kitchens, but there's a lot of people 
who are actually saying, you know what, the outside kitchen's nice, but can I just get some storage, please? And that's what they did here on this one. If you like the outside kitchen concept, cool. They make tons of floor plans with outside kitchens, but 100% of people will always find use for this big, huge storage compartment under the bunk area. So I like that they left that open for us. Now, once again, we've got great window viewing on the door side of our RV. And I can't get the awning open right now due to our proximity to this beautiful Keystone Fusion toy hauler I have next to us. But it is a power awning. It does have LED lights all the way under it. And we do still have the backlit speakers back here. So you've got great patio lighting. And we do still have outside TV hookups basic camper but if your needs say hey guys we you know our family we like game day race day we like to go outside or even if you just like the tv to be playing some white noise on your campsite you can set that up out here now we already kind of talked about the steps but i love these things now the two steppers are nice for people who store their rvs at storage lots where you tend to be parked really close to someone else because they don't really swing out that far like a quad or a triple step might and again we have that handy um, anti-slam entry door so either the wind or the kids can't flip that open or damage anything we also have a locking screen door here which is pretty cool if you, you shut the screen door pull that down pull it over and bang you lock the screen door from the inside so if you need to step out for a minute and you don't want the little because I, I mean anyone who's had a kid we know how quickly something can happen and you feel like a criminal like you turn your back and your kid hurts themselves you're like I literally turn my back for just a second once you know that could, it can happen quickly and nobody judges you for that we've all gone through that experience you know you can't have your eyes on your kid literally 100 percent of the time so that little screen door latch right there to me as a parent that's one of those nice little things i like where if i had um like one of my smaller nieces or nephews or my own daughter when she was smaller knowing that she wouldn't like fall out the door and take a tumble down those steps that makes me feel a lot better um, one more thing, there is also a gas grill quick connect right up here near the front of the trailer. So if you do feel like bringing along a grill, you can. And you don't have to necessarily bring along extra fuel sources because you're already using the propane that you already hauled on the camper. Simple, easy, smart, effective. So 26 DJSE, does Josh sound excited? You bet. So give us a call, guys. I don't care where you live. It's on wheels. We make deals happen every day. That's how we've become the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan. Um, and we have uh, no intention of letting that title go. It's been that way for a better part of a half dozen years now. Um, so with that, take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone. And remember, we don't do hidden fees here at Halid RV.